instance continues the trend of whales washing ashore on northern California beaches. It also noted that last week an emaciated 50-foot sperm whale washed ashore on the Pacific beach. To become 50 feet, I would assume you know your way around the ocean. Something is dreadfully wrong with the animal. Another story noted that a killer whale, which is one of the smartest whales that we know of, think uh, Shamu, beached itself north of Fort Bragg. According to Marine Mammal Center, whales standing themselves are stranding themselves, excuse me, are fairly rare. So the situation in a nutshell is this. The Pacific Ocean is dying. From the ground up, the entire food chain is collapsing. The stories are out there. The information is easy to find. The only problem is that no one seems to be paying attention, or at least wants to step up and say something needs to be done at Fukushima. This needs to stop, and it needs to stop today. In conclusion, although many people don't believe in the Bible, and I've explained to you why you don't have to, there is an interesting verse that states that towards the end of time, something like Fukushima happens. Now again, you listen to this, and don't tell me that, don't give me, don't talk to me about all the things you don't believe in Christianity. It's a comment line, not a sermon. You tell me where this is wrong. I will not ridicule you, I promise you. You tell me where anything in this is wrong. Revelations 8:11. The third angel sounded, and a great star fell from heaven, burning like a torch, and it fell on a third of the rivers and on the springs of waters. <clears throat> the name of the star is called Wormwood, and a third of the waters became Wormwood, and many men died from the waters because they were made bitter. It says the IAEA will make a third visit to Fukushima and it says experts are expected to take soil samples, analyze them, and release a report. More than likely, the report will essentially say that everything is okay, but is it really? And friends, with that, you're listening to The Correct Views. Sam I.B. DeGange giving you day two out of two for the Fukushima update. Um, for those of you waiting for the Dunce Cap of the Month Award, I may have to put that off until Monday because I have business that I have to tend to Thursday night, and I don't know if I'll be able to do a show. I may be able to. If not, I will make sure something is up for everyone. Uh, do me a favor. Go to the correct views at hotmail.com. Every penny that you give to me goes towards a better show. Uh, we're working on a set here. Christelle uh, is going to order by Thursday what we need to get our graphics back up, and uh, that's exactly what we're going to do. Thank you for listening, friends. Make sure you look up Change Transportation if you are within about a 50-mile radius of Canton, Ohio. Good night, friends. God bless.